Hey guys, I was talking uh, to Melody actually. This is just in response to a question about a keyboard that is under a couple hundred bucks, 200, maybe if we can get to three, then I have a keyboard that can actually transpose, has a really easy transpose function. It's actually the keyboard we used at our church until we I found out we had a, a Korg Triton propped up in the back of the church, so uh, which is a super nice keyboard so I switched it but up until that point we've been using this Williams Legato actually it's Williams Allegro and I'm going to show it to you and talk about it it's a it's a cheap keyboard I mean it's it's cheap it's uh, 199 or if you go up to the 299 you get some weighted keys and then you get um, a transpose function so the question was like a capo I mean you could learn your four chords on the piano and then you could just use the transpose function to play any song. If you understand like the national numbers or the number system, one, four, six, five, one, four, six, five, you could play the same chords even on the piano. Just like it's like the guitar players are cheating with the capo, or so some people say it's cheating. But this is exactly the same thing you could do with this keyboard. So you could learn one uh, basically seven chords, you know, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then you're playing four chords most of the time and you can play any song. So let me let me see what this is like here. I'm going to try to show you my screen here and uh, flip over, uh, flipping over the screen, and you can probably see my screen. Okay, I'm going to try this, but I, this is just me trying to show you my screen. Uh, that is the Williams piano right there, and it is 2.99 ish on Guitar Center. Okay, 2.99 on Guitar Center. Actually, this one's the 199. So I want to talk about the difference between the 199 and the 299. The 199 has they both have 88 keys. Okay, this one does not have a transpose function. It's a little bit different. A real simple uh, keyboard with no transpose function at all, um, and that that would kind of defeat the purpose of just using simple chords. But it has piano, electric, organ, electric piano, organ, pad, bass, and split. Okay. Says so something about using the app for going on your iPad and split layer keyboard. That stuff I'm I'm never gonna do, but it does have the, the important part about this keyboard that when you're looking for a keyboard is it's got 88 keys, it's touch sensitive, okay? And that's a little bit different than um, weighted keys. So I'll talk about that with the next one. Um, it's got built-in speakers and it plugs in. It's really actually pretty good. It sounds okay as a piano. It's just a basic piano. It's only $199. Okay, so this is your basic piano. It's not going to be weighted, but it says touch sensitive, which means that if you touch the piano key uh, soft, you'll get a soft, soft sound. If you touch it hard, you'll get a hard sound. You know, if you hit it hard, you'll get more of a uh, harder sound. Uh, louder, I should say louder sound. But this one here, I think, would be for Melody. She was asking. It's got high reviews. I think this is the one that we have. It has just a little more function, and it has a transpose button. So on the fly, you can actually just hit transpose, and you can transpose right up. Okay. The, the other thing this has that's a little bit different: 88 key weighted piano action keyboard. So this is a real big step up. If you have the extra hundred bucks, I definitely would step up here because it's a weighted. Uh, piano action keyboard so it's gonna feel a lot heavier than just a when they call it touch sensitive touch sensitive it's just really feels like you can play soft and loud on it you can play pianissimo you can play um, the loud stuff um, forte I act like I have no idea what I'm talking about when I'm when I'm talking about these musical terms which is kind of funny actually but uh, but this keyboard has speakers too so you can actually hear yourself on stage you know it's kind of cool and you can plug out of it into your sound system so this is really just a basic beginner this would be like the least level keyboard I would probably put on the stage um, either one but this one does have the transpose function the total transpose function so that is what I'm liking and I'm gonna try to switch this uh, thing around why can I never fix my thing oh hey Stephen Merrifield is watching Oh, Steven, what's up, dude? Uh, that's what I'm trying to say. You can transpose this uh, to 299 keyboard for 299 bucks. You've got weighted keys, 88 weighted hammer action keys, and you have the transpose function. Okay, so that is that is two things. The sound of this piano is okay. It's not going to blow your mind. It's not going to like be offensive, but it's not going to blow your mind. Um, ours sounds okay if we put it at like 50% but if you get it up any higher it's, not, eh. it's just okay 
but it's it's only $299. Um, if you really want a, a really good piano, you have to, if you want a really good sounding piano with really good weighted keys, you're going to have to jump up to like seven, eight hundred. And I would say that the Yamaha DGX 660 is the one I originally talked to Mel Mel Melody about. That's what I have in my, my studio. It's still a cheap piano. At six, seven, at $750 or so, it's still a cheap piano. So I know that's hard to believe. Um, but if you want a really good piano, you're gonna have to get into the, the multiple thousands, multiple thousands. The DGX 660 with a bench is 869. You can see that, you can see that here, down here. So if you wanna get, uh, you know, one with a bench, this one right here is the one I have. I didn't get the bench because I don't care about the bench and so it was like maybe 750. But it actually, you can put this on a keyboard stand but it comes with a keyboard, it comes with a full keyboard stand, right? But you can put it on your own, on your own stand, okay? So that's, that's that one. It's the DGX 660. It has a ton of, um, it has a ton of features actually. It has weighted keys, it has recorders, it has all kinds of crazy stuff on it that you can do. Um, it has all kinds of stuff, all right? So that, that's the one that if you, if your church or if you were ready to get one, you wanted to spend under a thousand but still spend a little, little money. It's quality, it sounds really good. It's got like, the, you can open up the grand piano lid, it's got an LCD screen on it or L, I don't know what kind of screen it is, but you can actually grab the piano lid and pop it open and, it, and it, you can do concert grands, it's pretty cool. You'll see some of it on my videos, but that one's more or almost a thousand. So if you're looking for students and you're looking for budget, the Williams, these are all at Guitar Center. So you can get those, the Williams Legato 3 with, uh, that's 199, has basic keys and then you got a, you got the, um, the other one that has, let's see where it is. It has weighted keys and I've never, I think that's one we have. It's still not as good of key action as like the Yamaha or the Kawais would be, but you're into over a thousand dollars. You get real fast above a thousand and really in three thousand and four thousand. But if you're just looking for piano sounds, really I've, I've had back in the nineties, if you get anything past year, maybe 2000, so anything in the last 15 or 20 years, it's gonna sound pretty good. Um, if you get something from the 90s, it may sound like plunky pianos or whatever, but just as a piano, it's hard to make even the most expensive piano, a keyboard piano, sound like a real piano. So that, that's a whole nother topic, but it's really hard to do that. Steven, are you still watching my video? All right, anyway, guys, ask, let me know if you have any questions. Pop your comments down there, and uh, if you're watching this on my YouTube feed today, just give a like and uh, do that. We're gonna be working on piano videos and then for the spring that are coming out for the foundations, but we're just finishing up the drums and bass right now. So check out the website, worshipbandbuilder.com for all the piano foundations and my new Play and Sing TV Patreon. And you can actually join there and watch every week as I'm putting up new videos, new song charts and everything like that. All right, God bless you guys.